This is Autocomedia 635, and this is a video on uh, partial restoration of my two dorsal bunnies. Yep, these are the two that I um, have that I bought at the car boot. There's still one left, which is up here. The drums and the uh, headpiece plus some of the accessories are right there. And the fur is right there with the head inside. Um, he's waiting to get cleaned. So yeah, these are the two that I have restored so far. Um, this one looks like brand new again. Everything looks perfect on him. The functions are badass. This one had zero crack gears. Um, no, now here's the thing though. There's something really surprising about this. This one has zero cracked gears as well. This one only had the motor shaft gear cracked. That's all. Only the motor shaft gear. This one, zero cracked gears. Zero. That's right. Non gear, no crack gears. If you guys want to know which one it is, it's the one that has the uh that still has the original bow tie thingy. Um, if you guys want to know which one, which are these two, and you guys might be like, yeah, this is from your other one. Kinda, it's I I made it by my own. Um, this is the the second Christmas one. This is the uh second drumming one, the one that was crooked and had a huge stain here. Now it works, it fully works, and this one as well. This one did already work, but he needed a couple, you know, twitchings. Now he looks again like brand new, No, not even a, not even a mark. He's just amazingly good, and of course, as I said before, I had to show it. Now here's the thing though, the one that I have, there's another one that I have actually will be, um, how's it called? It will be actually faster than this one. So, here we go. So, here's the uh, drizzle bunny turned on. And also, I want to point out something. This one's the best one out of all the Dursal bunnies I have. It's complete. Complete. My other one does not have the original bell and does not have the original pumpin. And this one, even that, actually, look at this. This looked fresh. This looked brand new. The contacts look actually really brand new there, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now we're going to go to the other one. Okay, so if you guys have been looking at my uh, other update videos on this one, the problems were extremely simple. He was crooked and probably like he was all taken off from the uh, from the upper half because the gear, the, um, not the gear, the axis came off. That's it. That's it. I found the axis right here on the skin. Um, he had two broken gears, one for the motor and one for the inner that it's a uh, bigger, bigger um, shaft diameter, but they're both the same tented gears so and also the square shaft gears were starting to crack so I glued them and now they're not gonna break anymore um, the head has a hard time moving because I don't know it's it's a matter of the skin it's not my problem but here we go oh <laughs> sorry about that forgot to mention this one actually has a small problem he has one of the packs broken off so uh, this moved and just released the batteries so finally here he is It's a pretty cool one, and um, now I only have to fix the other one, and that's it, guys. That's it. I have to fix the, um, no, fuck no. I have to fix this one. The mechanism already moves perfectly. It's fast and all. He's rewired, and um, he only needs the skin to be washed. When it's washed, I glue it, and that's it, guys. I got two, two snowflakes just like this one for the drumsticks, and that's it. I'm finally done with the entire Duracell bunnies I have. Again, I already have five. I have two Christmas and three drummers. So, this has been Zodok Gear. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.